Hi everyone, it's Sailor Mimsy. Today's video is a flip through of my current journal that I'm in. Uh, this is going to be July. I had to think there for a second. So July 1st to, we'll stop at the 16th. I was so excited getting back into the Traveler's Notebook. I feel like it's been so long. So here is what the inside cover page looks like. So there is a sticker there of a unicorn and I just put in the start date with the date stamp. July 1st was Canada Day here. See, I had a delicious orange. I could, that's like the first thing I noticed. Uh, it was a pretty hot day and we went to the Osborne Street Festival which is like um, one of my favorite areas in the city. They close off the street and have this huge like festival with like different vendors and food places and music and stuff. It's so awesome. Oh, this year I did something different though. So instead of just like busing there or driving over there, I walked. I bussed and walked, but I walked for most of the way. And <laughs> I was wearing my backpack and a dress. And thankfully I was wearing, um, I was wearing tights underneath, but I was walking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. I don't even know how long that I was walking for, but there's this part on my route where I had to go over a bridge and before before I got to the bridge, I passed by this little like strip mall and I just happened to be looking in the windows of them because I've never walked by them before. And while I'm doing that, I noticed my reflection and my skirt rode up. Like you know when you're wearing a backpack and you're wearing like a jacket or a sweater or something and while you're walking, your jacket or your sweater or whatever like rides up because of your bag. So that happened to me. So my dress was up in the back, like all the way up, tucked underneath my backpack for who knows how long, like oh, at least like 15 minutes. But thankfully I was wearing tights, but still that definitely looked weird to anybody that saw me. Ugh, it's so embarrassing. Ugh, can't stop thinking about it now. Oh, I gotta get out of my mind. <laughs> so we tried a new food place afterwards. Uh, these are just stamps. And then yeah, I painted an orange. And this is our weird bus transfer that we have here. We used to have really cool looking bus transfers and they changed them and now they have those QR codes. And I don't like them. I think this one's already starting to fade because of the type of paper and ink it's on. Oh yeah, I was sick during the beginning of July. I did a lot of sleeping. And every year, I always forget to put sunscreen on my chest. So. All of me is protected and then the next day after being in the sun I always have like this burn or a tan on my chest and you see like the outline of what I was wearing. I, I never learn. Every year it happens. One year I had I was wearing like a, a crossbody bag and there was like a strap mark going across my chest. It was so funny. And we had a special breakfast this day. My husband's birthday was on the 3rd but he was working that day so we celebrated it kind of like a day early. Technically we celebrate his birthday for like the whole month almost. <laughs> Nothing huge. I let him have the last choice and last decision in things that we do or places that we eat at or whatever. But the breakfast I was planning for a while. And this is just a bag from the breakfast place. Uh, sorry, a cutout from the bag of the place we got breakfast. So July 3rd is his birthday and there's just a ton of writing. And I had a headache but I tried to make the best of it still. We ended up going to dinner with my family in the evening after he got off work. One of the bear stamps there. I guess my favorite set of stamps. And then just some cards here, just for extra writing room. As if I needed more writing room, right? Like, look at this, it's just jam-packed. Okay, July 4th was a super hot day. I shouldn't even say super hot, like today right now actually is really hot. I was using my favorite Platinum Preppy pen, so the yellow ink is that Platinum Preppy. Uh, I was having a really good, oh I wrote down here, I was having a fantastical eyebrow day. And I don't have a photo printer or anything and I just wanted to remember it. So I took like a selfie and then I, I drew one of my eyes out there. Little cutout here of Betty Davis. Oh this was from when I did my felting. So I did a video on the felting there. Oh my gosh, I love this little clump. I keep him on my desk so I always see it. It's so cute. And I have this clump from my felting video hanging from um, 
our, like the ceiling fixture in my studio here, I have them hanging up from one of the pole thingies, like the ceiling fan fixture. And it's just a wrapper from this Chinese food place. They gave us this extra little treat in our order. So I found this little bit of paper at work and I found it in a book. It just seemed really weird and creepy, so of course I had to keep it. Husband and I watched a movie while Sadie snoozed. It's really time for us to get a new couch. So we've been like putting up with the couch that we have until we can like until we have the money, like the extra money to buy a couch. But we've had this one forever and it was actually secondhand for my parents. So when we got it, it was in like perfect condition. And we end up sitting in like the weirdest positions while watching things just to try to get comfortable. And this is supposed to be my husband and Sadie and I on a lazy river. I've never been on a lazy river. It looks like so much fun. We've never seen Sadie like in water because the beaches here, I don't think you can take your dogs to it. I've been investigating for a while, but we don't know how Sadie would react around um, a body of water. She doesn't like the hose though, like the backyard hose, and she doesn't mind having her bath. Be interesting to see what she does. And my husband loves swimming, he loves being in the water. I do too, but I have this weird allergic reaction where I get crazy, crazy gross hives when I'm in water. But if I'm like at an ocean, like if I'm at the sea or the ocean, I'm totally fine. I think if I were to go on the lazy river, I would have to be above it and not in it. But anyways. Oh, and I can't swim either. So that's me on a raft thing. So this was a Friday. I had less than four hours of sleep and we had lots of errands to do and I also had work as well. I don't really know what's going on on this page. It was just colors. It started off with just painting this tree. And then from there, I stuck this on. This is from wrapping paper, the owl. But I did the background first, stuck the owl on, and then everything else kind of just exploded onto the page. On July 9th, we finally watched Zoolander 2. I borrowed it from work. There's a quote here from it. I'm going to retire, withdraw from public life, and become a hermit crab. Quote unquote Derek Zoolander. So I tried doing a little doodle of him in Hansel. There's a little blurb and doodle of Sadie here. She's been very obedient while my husband was bringing groceries and she was out there without her leash on. She totally listened to him, which is always a good thing. And oh, waiting to play Pokemon Go. So I did my silly doodle of myself in Ash Ketchum's gear. Oh, we went to see after work, we went to check out the food trucks, even though it was pouring rain. There was a food truck festival. My husband had taquitos. I had uh, chips and shrimp ceviche, and we shared churros. So good. I want more. Sunday was a day off, and for the first time, I attempted to make um, shrimp. Well, I had shrimp. My husband had beef slash pork patties, but I made vermicelli bowls. It's like our favorite thing to get when we eat Vietnamese at Vietnamese restaurants. So I just did a quick doodle of all like the different ingredients in pencil, painted it in with watercolor. And this is a cutout from a vintage book of food related images, I think. I've had this for a very long time, like, but it's like falling apart, so I've been trying to salvage it. Salvage the different pieces in it. So I painted my husband here, he's hero of the day, that's in the banner there, because he washes the dishes in our house. And this particular day, from my crazy cooking venture, we had more than we usually do to wash in the sink. But he did it all because he's awesome and I appreciate that. I'm very grateful. This was Monday last week. Hot day, I dress in layers. Yeah, that's really smart. It's super humid too. I don't know why I do that to myself. It's not like it's super cold at my work, too. Anyways, I uh, found a weird porcupine guy while I was at work on the fourth floor getting books on hold for people. It was sitting on a shelf, this little piece of like cutout paper. And it was kind of like, it's kind of like really, it's kind of like looking over his shoulder creeping at you. <laughs> but that's what I saw when I was like passing by a shelf. I had to do a double take and I went back for it. 
there's a severe thunderstorm watching effect that happened late at night. Sadie was not happy about that. One of my pen pals actually sent this to me. It's just a pretty, it looks like a Polaroid of a carnival. In the highlight of the day, I had a surprise visit at work from one of my co-workers that I used to work with at the previous library I was at. I haven't seen him since December, so it was really cool to catch up with him. And the 12th, there's a journaling prompt there from Journaling Sage's Creative Happiness Prompts. I've been doing those prompts usually in my writing only slash not as colorful notebook journal that I keep. But this one says, what is the greatest gift your mother gave you? And I just write about my mom here. This is a cutout of a bunny. I'm just talking about dinner here. This is a cutout from scrapbook paper here and then just decoration with washi. And oh, the story behind this. So this is me lifting up our bed, which is heavy and awkward. And the bottom here says, that burst of adrenaline you get first thing in the morning when you realize your mobile phone was under the bed since who knows when. So I have your sudden superhero and then this is my phone underneath the bed, cold, lonely, 0% battery. And this happens a lot actually, it's really bad. Went for a walk downtown, went on a totally different route that we usually take, or a different area too. Uh, we got to do some exploring. So this is actually at a community center or recreation center in the city that I've we've driven by it like hundreds of times probably and we've never actually walked by it but there are these huge marbles that are on display. I'm pretty sure they're throughout downtown but there's a lot of them in this community center like right in the front so we got to walk through that. I didn't get to sit and draw and paint like I wanted to because it was raining and cold and there were so many mosquitoes out. So I took a picture of my favorite spot and I tried to capture all the marbles in like one photo. So this is the picture that I came up with. It turned out really nice, I'm happy with it. It's all watercolor and then, oh, ink and then watercolor as well there. And some pencil for some of the shading here. This was Thursday last week. A friend sent me a link to get the Pokemon game because it wasn't technically released in Canada yet then. So I caved and finally got it. I've been a Pokemon fan since it first came to North America. It was very cool and different and I'm still a huge fan mainly of the first generation Pokemon which is what we have here. And we also saw Secret Life of Pets, the movie. So this is a, just doodles of some of the Pokemon that I caught that day. Friday I had no work, all I did was clean. It was actually, it was tiring but in a good way, like it just felt really rewarding. So I cleaned inside the house, husband was outside, he was trimming the tree and doing the lawn and all that. Oh, there's a little conversation that my husband and I had here. We always ask each other weird random questions and I always forget to record it but I remember this time. So I asked him if Mark Zuckerberg wanted to give us 10 billion dollars for Sadie, would you do it? And my husband said, yeah, then I'd steal her. And then I said back to him, you can't do that. He's got people. He'll know. And my husband replied, he won't know. So that was our post-dinner conversation. There's a smiling dog face because that's just too cute. And I cut this cup of gummy bears from a magazine. I think it was a pet magazine. I think these came from the same magazine. So along the bottom here, you have almost all the cleaning supplies that I used. And there's Sadie being weird. I guess being a dog or being an animal and sniffing the garbage. And there's me laying on the floor because it's hot. And then out the window. Occasionally we would peek out the window and watch my husband. He was on a ladder trimming the tree that he... I call it his tree because he's the one who like takes care of it. So he's outside trimming his tree there. And the 16th of July, husband did some more lawn work. He made friends with our new neighbor. There's lots of Pokemon business over here. So this Pokemon Drowsy, we did a little duel of here. There is a huge abundance of Drowsies in the Pokemon Go game. Anyway, so I was looking at him on my phone and he reminded me of Kevin from The Office. So I had to make note of that there. I was cracking up by myself. And late that night we went for, yeah, we went for a late night walk around one of Winnipeg's landmarks. 
and there was seriously hundreds of people out catching Pokemon. It was such a cool sight. Like I love how this game is like bringing people together. I thought it was really cool. So we did that. Sadie was with us and she was such a sweetheart. Even though there were other dogs around that were like freaking out trying to get to her, she was... I think she maybe barked once and it was like at this guy who was making sounds trying to get her attention or something. But she was such a sweetie pie. The reason that's a big deal to me is because Sadie is a rescue and she's terrified of other dogs and strangers. She reacts to them by barking and trying to like scare people away. But yeah, so she was such a sweetie pie. She makes me so happy. And that was it. It was a really good Saturday. Oh, and I've had this picture of the double rainbow for a while. I just couldn't find a good time to use it, but it looked like it fit there. I think I got that from a photography magazine. So this brings us to the end of this week's flip through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please just leave it in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!